Okay, the red dot is on, so we're going to be recording this meeting to post on our website um, after this meeting is over. Cheryl, would you like to take on the meeting now? Okay, thank you. I'll call the meeting to order, and uh, I say that the first order of business is the election of officers for 2021, and uh, three positions are up for... Uh, election, uh, the chair, the vice chair, and the secretary treasurer, right? That's correct. All righty. So um, we'll start with the chair. Uh, I'll accept um, nomination. Should somebody else run this instead of me? Whatever. It'll be all right. Oh, I'll accept sure. nominations for the chair. I'll nominate Cheryl. I'll second. <laughs> All righty, thank you. Uh, any other nominations? All righty. Um, second to the, no oh, we already had that. Um, Hello? All righty, well then, uh, any other, yes? Hi, Hello? this is Donna, sorry, I'm a little late. Hi, Donna, well, we haven't elected the officers yet, it's okay. okay. I'm only on the phone because yeah, uh, I'm only on the phone too. I, yeah, I couldn't get you on. Make it work so. yeah, right. no. Mm -mm. And I spent a lot of time on it. Whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> we're now we're doing the election of officers, and Ray has nominated me as the president, as the chair, rather. Uh, do you have any other nominations? No. Okay. Um, All righty. Well. We move the nominations. I guess be I'll close the nomination. No, yeah, I'll close the nominations, and um, we can vote on it. All those in favor of the one nominee, say aye. 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 All right. Okay. Those opposed. Yay me. <laughs> 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 I don't know whether I want to do this or not anymore because I have so much trouble communicating. But whatever. This, All right. this, this and will pass, Bob. <laughs> right, exactly. I hope so. At least Donna's in the same boat as me, which is so good. Yeah, um, I do Zoom all the time, but I could not get on Microsoft Teams. Me I too. Would just... I mean, I Zoomed this morning. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. All righty. So next up is the um, vice chair, and I believe Ray is our current vice chair. Is that correct? No, my vice chair. No, Ray is secretary treasurer. Oh, Ray secretary. Our vice chair is... Frank. I, I nom Frank. Uh, oh, right. I'm sorry. I nominate Frank. All righty. Do I hear any other nominations or a second? I'll second that. Okay, thanks. Uh, do I hear any other nominations? All righty. Um, I'll entertain a motion to close the nominations for vice chair. I'll move that. All righty. Thank you. And um, all in favor of Frank be continuing as a vice chair, say aye. 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 All righty, good. Me too, aye. All righty, now, Secretary Treasurer. I That's Ray. I nominate Ray. Thank you. Oh, good. Good, thank you. Because Ray was doing what? the nominating, and we couldn't have him done there himself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, do I hear a second for the nomination? I'll second. I'll second that. This is oh. Wayne. I jumped on a little late. <laughs> oh, that's right, Wayne. We're having a befuddled day anyway. All righty. Um, do I have other, any the... other? <laughs> it's the norm, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, do I have any? Uh, are there any other nominations for secretary treasurer? Well, then I move that the nominations be closed. Do I have a second on that? Second. All righty. Okay. All those in favor of Ray? Aye. 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 All righty. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for continuing to serve. I guess Frank's not here today, is he? No, he's here. I think I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <there. laughs> I know it's way hard to tell today. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, congratulations, fellas, and thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay, we will now address the minutes of uh, 
December 1st. Are there any additions or corrections? I didn't notice any myself, but you know. All righty. Well, then I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Second. Okay. All right. All right, all in favor, right? Yes. Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, are there any audience comments? Have we heard from anyone, Ed? No, we did not have any audience comments come in. Okay, good. Uh, next up is um, correspondence and announcements, the PACD monthly report. Anything that, we should attend to, Ed? Uh, not not that uh, of any significance that we had to vote on, no. Okay, good. All righty. And next up is I will entertain a motion for to file all bank statements for audit. Oh, wow. It's a lot of money. Um, okay. So moved. All righty. Thank you. Second. Second. All righty. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right, good. Thank right. you. Now, just so and everyone realizes, uh, Cheryl, just so everybody yes. realizes on the budget that some of that money is just parked there until we get our county budget uh, and transfer. It. So we'll probably be doing that within the next month or so, transferring it over to okay. the treasury. So. Okay. So we're going to have a new. Uh, this money's not just going to sit there. <clears throat> That's correct. Darn, we could have really made it. Not had all. a really good time. We could have had a really good time, but there we go. All right. All right. Next, a motion request to pay uh, Buchler, Kelly, and Irwin for accounting services January to September. Do I hear a motion to do that? No move. Okay. Thank you. Second. Second. All righty. All in favor? If not, speak up now. Okay, next motion is to transfer the NP 2019 NPDES expenses to reimburse affiliate money market account as noted on the 2019 audit for $31,815.33. Ed, would you like to speak about this? Yes, the, our normal practice is that we wait until our audit is completed. Then we go through and take all the NPDS expenses that we run out of our checking account and then transfer the costs from the clean water fund, putting that money from the clean water fund into our uh, affiliate membership fund. So mm -hmm. the reason it's so high this time, it's usually three to four thousand dollars annually, but we also had the vehicle that was purchased through the county and we paid them with the the check that's in that um, report that you got attached to for 27,000 uh, and change um, from our money market affiliate, affiliate membership money market. So now we're transferring them funds from the clean water fund, which is because it's used for the technicians. Okay. All righty. No one made a motion on this yet, so please do so now. I'll move it. All right, thank you. Second. Second. All righty, good. Okay. I presume that we're all in favor. If not, please speak up. Okay. Oh, good. Thank you. Um, okay, next page is the emergency reviews motion to approve for deposit the following emergency review fees for December. Pico Meadowbrook Lane gas line installation project in Radnor. All righty. Okay, a motion to approve this. I make a motion. I'll second. Thanks, Ray. All righty. If you're not in favor, speak up now. All right, good. All in favor, it passes. All right. Checks to be signed to under motion requests. Oh, the previous ones, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. All righty. All righty. Uh, next on oh. to old business office improvement status. Yoo-hoo. Okay. Um, Tell us about that. 
Well, we're still working on the improvements for the back meeting room in which we are uh, installing the heating unit. It has been installed. Uh, the electrician came to start to install the electrical service and they need to come back because they need a different fuse and that was just before Christmas. So they have not been back yet to finish the job. Uh, I did talk to Mr. Orr in the facilities management and he had reached out to the contractor Goldhorn and uh, and said that that should take place in then short period of time and then Nichols would have to come back to hook up the unit, the air conditioning. Um, as for the so third tech, excuse me? It's still moving in the right direction now. Yes, it, it's on good. the wall now. It just not, doesn't yeah, work. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that is going to be important because, uh, yeah, Connor can see his breath back there when he's in the office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Little icicles on his nose, right? Exactly. All righty. Um, the other thing uh, on the hiring of the third technician, we did have a meeting um, with the Jim Kane uh, to, for the compensation um, uh, study that they're doing, and we did talk about whether or not this person has been advertised. I've been working with Jim on that, and he was going to go back and check. I followed it up with an email, and I'm just waiting for his response to see if it's been posted yet. Uh, we were working on uh, updating the job description to meet some of the new requirements that county um, is working on right now through personnel in this uh, compensation study. The compensation oh, study uh, seems that it, it, it seems uh, has been established for um, our positions in the county, and uh, it seems that to be in, in line with what we're thinking. Uh, the couple titles have changed. Uh, not the conservation technician, the watershed specialist genus position has been changed from office manager to administrative specialist and mine from director to manager. So those are nice uh, we'll and upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. We're, we're still waiting for the details, but yes. <laughs> I see. So okay, it is so, so well, I flipped on moving I, forward. I, me. As we were speaking, I just looked up to see if it's been posted and it is not posted right now. Um, oh. So I'm not sure what the delay time, is there. Time to harass someone, right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have harassed them before, but I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we count on your ability to harass people. We we're, we're count on your connections there. It'll be excellent. Thank you, Elaine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we have all the upgrades that we need on that topic, right? So yes. far, not good, but we're getting there. Yes. At least we're on the radar, kind of. Um, okay, next up is a, memori a memorandum of understanding between the district and county council. There's no action on that yet? No, uh, but they, um, I don't know if Elaine would like to speak in on this. They have hired yeah, the sustainability officer, made the uh, uh, offer. So uh, that is when I think we'll start uh, bring this forward a little bit faster. Yes, and she okay, accepted and she's starting, uh, I think, in the beginning of February. Oh, good. Excellent. So will she come to meet us? Yes, or, of course. Okay. Will we, we, we her. to meet her? That'll be wonderful. Pardon me? If we invite her, she will. Yeah, well. I, I would <laughs> like to invite her, definitely. It would be wonderful. All right. So thanks about that. I would like to really, uh, it would be nice to really know what's going on with the sustainability people. That would be great because you know, I'm very enthused about that. Yeah, she is coming so to show, She was the uh, chief sustainability officer for the school district of Philadelphia. So she was, yeah, she had a big kingdom there to take care of and she helped them navigate and put together their their sustainability sustainability plan and she did a lot of their capital improvement program so she's got great experience excellent maybe that'll abode well for a smooth uh, elision into real sustainability huh yeah uh, that's what that we're would hoping. be great that's what you're hoping right <laughs> excellent well thanks elaine um next up is the annual work plan approval has have, have 
So, you know, I, I didn't really see where it had changed very much. I, I didn't really notice any changes. That must mean that I didn't read it enough times or whatever. Uh, all but, the changes uh, were there... highlight in color, so. Oh, well. Maybe. Hmm. I wonder why it didn't come up that way. Did well, else that problem? There we go. No, mine shows it's it, you know it has the um, changes marked. Huh. I had changes that I had made were in yellow, and then changes that um, the staff had made were in blue. And then Linda has given me some uh, some basically some um, uh, grammatical changes that have to be made too that were in blue that I that you don't have, but they're they're not consequential, so I, I can make those right. Stuff. Right, they're more grammatical in some way, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, your program is probably default not to show the track changes that sometimes happens. Oh, right, right. I bet that's it. Well, I'll go I'm back and look at it again. To speak but... Apple. <laughs> Pardon me? I'm going to have to learn to speak Apple. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. Uh, I wish I were uh, more fluent in it myself. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I think that we need a motion on this. Would someone like to move that we accept the annual work plan? So moved. Changes? All righty. And a second? I'll second. Okay, thank you. Now, any further discussion on this? I'll, I'll just yep. say that the, um, I, it, from this work plan, it looks like Ed's workload is increased exponentially. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> really reading through it. Your plate has gotten quite full. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we know he's up to it. There we go. Alrighty, so uh, everybody in favor of the new uh, work plan? Um, aye. Yes? Okay. Yes. Aye. aye. All right. Okay, good. Thanks. That passed. Okay, thank you. And I will look, read it again with um, finding out what the changes really are. <laughs> oh, well, the Chapter 102 NPDES e permitting schedule will go live this month. Talk to us about this. Yeah, I, I don't know if um, Mont, uh, Michelle, would you like to talk? Did you attended some of the training today? Yeah. Sure. Um, yep. So today we had our first round of new training since um, back in June where we tested the system, but since June they made changes. Um, so we had two sessions today, another one, another two sessions tomorrow. Um, I thought they were pretty informative, at least um, based on hearing the questions from the other districts and DEP employees. Um, it looks like it should work pretty smoothly. Um, it will definitely change the way we do things as far as, um, you know, getting in touch with applicants and communicate amongst ourselves um, and cut down on what we're sending out because um, everything will be automatically generated. Um, so there are just some thoughts. We'll go into more in depth tomorrow um and then it's supposed to go live on the 25th um i don't know if you have anything to add connor from today that i am missing <laughs> yeah no uh, i just kind of agree it's going to make things a lot easier um, and uh yeah i think everyone had a really good question like you were saying how tough to ask a question that that you think of yourself so um yeah, I'm just looking for tomorrow, so we're more to see. I have one feeling that uh, for a while this thing was going to happen. <laughs> That's uh, pretty realistic. Right. So it should be easier, right? Be. In the grand scheme, yeah. <laughs> I think it might take a little getting used to, though. Right, I see. They always tell you it's going to be easier, and maybe not, but whatever. So far, so good, right? The major benefit. So Cheryl, the major benefit for us will be we haven't been to our office for a year, but we are just inundated with boxes and boxes of files. 
if we can start oh, cutting yes. down on the number of um, tonnage of paperwork, we can get this off a little bit more organized. So that would be a, a major plus, <laughs> a major plus, yeah. because we can barely even move in here now because of the amount of paperwork and filings. And uh, it will also save a lot of uh, paper because uh, currently we're getting trees, trees. Copies, trees, there you go, three copies of everything in. And, and it's just unbelievable the amount of work and the nine ninety percent of it gets recycled because we don't have a use yeah. for it once we review it and found it inadequate all those three copies get tossed out so that is going to be a major advantage it also will reduce our posting budget significantly because like oh, wow, uh, good Michelle said so it's just the idea of being able to um, review the plans and stuff and carry to the field on electronic format there's going to be a challenge for us that we're going to have to work out with it uh we'll have one other thing that i know of is the ab ability to uh use blue beam or adobe uh, acrobat of some type to be able to highlight plans and stuff so that is something that i'm going to delay on until i see what other people are having success with blue beam seems to be the way to go but it seems to be uh a seat charge that I'm not really sure exactly what we need to do yet. Right. Plus, it's better to uh, wait and see what works. Yes. Yeah. Right. But this will be, it'll be wonderful to have so much less clutter. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you all get back in the office, you'll have a lot of uh, weeding out of crap to do. Well, we're not going to get rid of it all immediately because the old stuff is not going on to the system and we're only going to start with general uh, permits. Individual permits will still be in the uh, uh, old form until they get used to this and then they'll upgrade on different mm -hmm. aspects. Hmm. It's a move. It's a progression. <laughs> yes. Well, perhaps you could get an intern to input all the old stuff or something. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, see if we that can be approved again we had lost that a few years ago but uh, that that yeah. was an advantage we did have yeah that would be a nice thing to have wouldn't it for especially when you know it's a a discrete task that they could just do that would right. be wonderful <coughs> we, we can hope god bless you sorry i thought i was on mute Alrighty. <laughs> All righty. Well, that's good news, really. I'm I'm glad. It, we'll have to work out. The, you'll have to work out a lot of kinks about this, I'm sure. But mm -hmm. um, it's progress. All right. New bis business. Christmas revetment stream bank project in Glen Providence Park. Oh, well, this is interesting. I left out the word tree. Christmas tree revetment. <laughs> I see. Oh, well, I thought they were having holidays there. Well, there we go. Christmas yep. tree revetment. Oh, that's interesting. Right. Uh, Karen has been working with the Friends of uh, Glen Providence Park, and they have a, yeah. a significant stream bank erosion problem that really is has developed expedited or ever since they breached the Third Street Dam. So I think there's a different change Ooh. in the hydrology, and it caused a yep. lot of erosion. Uh, where the water intake for the pond is. And uh, they have planted a riparian buffer in that area uh, a couple years mm -hmm. ago, and the trees are already starting to be eroded away from behind this. And Washed bump. away, right, right, right. Yeah. So, so this will make uh, reinforce the bank. Yeah, Norm um, Bennett from um, uh, the Parks Department manager said that, well, they have a bunch of Christmas trees left over from the Festival of Lights. So we're going to try to get a permit to be able to use those as a low cost method to try to stabilize that bank and uh, to get sediment to deposit there. And then hopefully in the future, if the sediment does deposit, then we'll be able to maybe get willow stakes or something else to put in the bank to anchor that bank down and hopefully direct right. the erosion over uh, to get the sediment deposits out of the stream on the far side. So that's the goal. Mm -hmm basically to prevent it from eroding the trees out that they planted and and also to prevent the dam from being uh, the berm between the stream and the pond from being breached and losing that uh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Sounds that, wonderful. You need more trees. Excuse, what's that? Is there a need for more trees? Uh, more the, the, 
the erosion is so More. quick here. We need to find a way to stabilize the embankment from being undercut. It's like a right angle where this um, stream turns. And yeah. yeah, it would be ideal to put in some um, deflectors and things too, but that costs mm -hmm. money and contractors. We're going to try this revetment that uh, first to see if we can uh, stop the progression from proceeding as quickly. And then maybe we'll have to augment that as we go to see how it, how it changes. Okay. Okay, so you're going to use the trees from the uh, rose tree event, right? Yeah, they're taking them down. Um, are you getting trees? Okay. okay. Are there uh, uh, are there any other sources of uh, Christmas trees? You could have a lot of them, or well, need more of them. We have more than we we have 85 feet of stream bank, according to the measurements <laughs> Karen has made. So we we're trying to reserve between 15 and 20 trees. But it's not a very high. Oh. Bank. So it, it, this will this will be enough that to have available. The trick is because right. of uh, endangered species, we have to get our clearances, which Karen and I are working on now through the PNDI. I think it's red belly turtle or bog turtle, but I'm thinking it's red belly. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to get clearance, and we'll only be allowed to work there up until March 31st. So we have to get it done before March 31st, yeah. or got to wait till October of next year. So, right, you don't want to disturb the patterns of the turtles, right? And they're migrating, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. All right. All righty. Well, this still seems like a great idea and it uses up what otherwise may have been trash. So, there we go. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You don't want people burning the trees, you know? All righty. Well, this is a good thing. Thanks for this update. I read about it in your in the Karen's notes. It sounded pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, next up is the uh, low volume road projects agenda. Let's see what's up with that, Karen, or you, Ed, whoever. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that it was on the uh, agenda meeting on County Council today, uh, and um, Elaine was helpful in promote helping us promote it through that process to get uh, yes. a tentative approval it'll be on the meeting for tomorrow for final approval hopefully oh good hopefully do you uh, expect any pushback Elaine, on this one no not at all mostly i I, oh, good. I try to get people more aware of the program so every time it comes up yeah. i talk a little bit about it and what it's for and you know so that more of our municipalities get trained or go through the yeah Mm -hmm. Yes. Would that we could get our municipality involved. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I keep banging away at that one, but I'm not getting anywhere. Okay, so this uh, this will be excellent. Thank you, and, and uh, I'm presuming that it'll be okay tomorrow. So thanks a lot for moving this forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, next up is report from cooperating agencies. Is Beth there? No, Beth? Yeah, she's there. I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, there she goes. I hear you. Right, I can now, yes. I'm sorry <laughs> to always be doing this by the phone. I, I, technology doesn't care for me. <laughs> Just mentioning. Yes. So, what's anything, up, Beth? I don't have anything new to report, but I just wanted to let everybody know that we're, we're still here and we're still providing technical <laughs> assistance. So, if anybody <laughs> needs help or knows of anybody that needs help, give us a call. Excellent. Thank you, Beth, and thanks for hanging on the call here. This is good. So next up, Linda, is Linda here? Hi. Linda. Um, Hi. Yes, I'm here. Hi. Oh, good. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, Cheryl. Um, I don't have anything to add to my report. If anybody has any questions, I mean, you covered e-permitting. Um, the only thing that I'll add, and I don't want to drag the discussion back to e-permitting, but the only thing that I will add to e-permitting um, is the issue of um, plans that come in that the districts, and it's been a constant problem, um, the districts have to go back and forth and back and forth just to get a plan that's worthy of of passing through to the technical review. So the one mm -hmm. thing that e-permitting will provide is um, 
the consultant or the applicant won't even get past the the initial stage of um, submitting the the plan um, without having all of the components um, required or necessary oh, for the most part um, to move mm -hmm. on to a technical review. So that's going to be huge. So I'm just throwing that out there or uh, right. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, other than that, on my report, um, the top item that I have on my report um, is just, you know, for all the directors, it's really for new, but you don't have any really new um, right now. But um, I do have a couple of links to um, a couple of websites on my you know, welcome to new directors. So mm -hmm. um, any of the directors can tap into that for information. And there's also the acronyms list. I send that out once or twice a year because, okay. yeah, I add a lot of links in that acronyms list that um, somebody mm -hmm. that is online can actually tap into the websites of a lot of the, for a lot of the information and a lot of the institutions that I have on the acronyms list. So it's a real, I think a really good learning tool for any director, but certainly new. Um, and any of the new word directors that um, um, are interested, they could go on to the PA leadership, um, um, website that has a lot of information. Usually, if there's a new director and you can confirm or deny, Stephen, I, I sent you a, 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 for example, Stephen, I sent you an yeah. example um, list of of some things to tap into. Um, the leadership development website being one of them. So that's just a repeat on my report, but. Um, you know, it's a good reminder for all district. Doesn't or all yeah, it doesn't directors. hurt to be reminded. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but thank good. you. Unless you have any thank questions, you. that's all I have. Sure. Any questions for Linda? Okay. Okay, next up is Ed. Let me bring up his report here too. Okay, a lot of in, uh, administrative issues were listed on my report, but uh, another thing we're working on, um, we do have a telecommunication problem with our telephones. Uh, so I'm working with uh, Jack McGee in telecommunications to try to upgrade us to uh, voice over internet, uh, which is the county is heading in that direction with some of the new office installations they're putting in. He gave us a couple, um, phones to try out the test um, and uh, unfortunately we're not being able to test them because they work great they ring but they don't have any audio it's not what, worth anything without audio you know it's well the telecommunications it has to work with uh, the IT department the IT department has to come out and do some adjustments to the firewall to be able to have the phones go through uh, the network so that has been held up a little bit here but uh, uh, he did come by the other day and said that he was going to try to put a fire under IT to see if they can get that uh, hooked up. But Good. that is needed because the ISDN line, uh, there was a cable that was cut between it out to the parks here and patched. And it, it Mark Manfred in the Parks Department still has phones that he can never get to work. And the poor guys in telecommunication, every time it rains, they have to come out here to get the phone to work. And if you ever hear somebody say that I hung up on them, that's not the case. I never hung, hang up on anyone, but the phone will cut out in phone conversations. So this nice. is what he's trying to eliminate with the uh, voice over internet. And I'm very hopeful that it'll work fine for us. Um, you can see from the erosion and sediment control that we're not out of the woods yet. Um, I have been working Saturdays to keep up with some of the plans, but we have still have 38 plans that are pending review uh, between now and the beginning of February. So uh, hopefully it will get, I'll be able to get to those very shortly. Uh, we did do 22 erosion control plans and I did take a vacation, four days for vacation between Christmas and New Year's. Um, but You're uh, allowed. For as for projects, we're, uh, uh, the, we had a, quite a few of the meetings with uh, uh, the teams and zoom and everything else and I'm um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to continue that 
as we go because it does save a lot of time running out of the office for uh, these meetings. Oh, so sure. Hopefully, we will be able to continue that. Good. Okay, somebody's cutting in and out here. I don't know what this sound is. But at any rate, thanks so much, Ed. That, that's good. And uh, I know you have a lot on your plate. It's been a very difficult year, so I wouldn't worry about not being on top of all of these things. You're doing the best you can. Thank you. Uh-huh. And uh, all right. But thanks, Ed. And next up is Michelle. Okay, um, I don't have anything specific to highlight in my report from the month. Um, nothing, you know, just the run of the mill things, lots of permits still coming in. Um, field inspections, at least on my end, were down a little bit because um, I did take a week off scattered throughout the month there. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, nothing specific unless anybody has questions. Not that I can think of. Okay. Anybody else got any questions? All good. Well, this is good, Michelle. You don't have to re-explain. Oh, wait, someone has a question? No? All right. Too bad for you. Okay, next up is Connor. Connor, what is your report looking like? Let me see. Uh, yeah, same, same thing. Uh, nothing too much uh, going on. We had a uh, our Roundtable meeting uh, with DEP and other uh, dis uh, districts in the region uh, on the 3rd of December. So that was nice. Uh, just kind of hammering out questions between <clears throat> all of us. Other than that, yeah, uh, it was pretty much uh, business as usual. Uh, I, I also didn't get as much uh, with the guidelines we have from the county to try to limit interactions of uh, people out in the field. Um, so, yeah, it was just pretty much a lot of office work this, uh, this month. Okay. Thanks, Connor. Yes. Next up, next up is Karen. Uh, there's a couple things I wanted to highlight in my report, um, and I'll just work down the document. Uh, so the first thing is the Heinz Wildlife Refuge Delco Tree giveaway. Um, I brought this up a couple meetings ago. Um, Heinz contacted us for information and connections uh, for a potential tree giveaway in Delaware County. Um, so we're still in discussion about that and some of the details are now um, settling. So we, uh, we're we getting ready for a tree giveaway event, hopefully sometime in the spring. Oh, good. Yeah, um, we're still working on the funding aspect of that, um, which is kind of key at this point but that's uh very close so um we just have a couple more people to meet with and figure out some of those details but it's all uh coming together so that's exciting yeah um the next thing on my report that i wanted to highlight on the last day of december we received notice of our growing greener grant award um, for the conservation planting trailer um, so that grant is to continue um, the operation of our conservation planting trailer, which is kind of coming at the perfect time because we've been receiving an uptick in um, people wanting to reserve the trailer, especially now during quarantine for some reason. But it seems like there's a lot more outdoor activities, especially in other counties. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, we've gotten requests from all the counties recently. So this is exciting and it's coming at the perfect time. So um, I'm currently working on uh, sending the required documents back to DEP for the contract for the grant. Um, and I'll need two signatures eventually, not yet. Um, so that would be from Cheryl and I believe from Ray or possibly Frank. Uh, once I have those figured out, I will send whoever the signatures are. Um, I'll send you more information about how to do that because it's going to be an online signature process, which can be okay. a little challenging sometimes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Although I did, I do still have one of those uh, little pieces of paper that tells me how to connect with Pennsylvania. 
signatory okay. process or something from before. That's, but that's probably, it's probably exactly different now anyway. Oh, right. <laughs> it's probably it might be the same thing, but the way things have been going, it might have changed. <laughs> right. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to bring up was the Master Watershed Steward Program. Um, so that's continuing on for another year, um, but given COVID restrictions on gatherings, uh, it'll be held virtually completely this year. Um, and it's the way they're running it's kind of interesting. They'll be having statewide um, uh, kind of webinars. Uh, for the first half of the training sessions, followed by breakout sessions in each of this, uh, each of the counties. Um, so it's going to be a little different, but it's still going on. So that's exciting. And we'll have another group of master watershed stewards going out into the world, hopefully um, by the spring. Yep. How many people usually participate? Um, when we've had our in-person sessions, I would say anywhere between 15 to 20 people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you and expect as many or fewer? Or I would like expect more um, because since it's a, a dual county program between Chester County and Delaware County, um, it's mm -hmm. open. All the training sessions are open to both counties. Um, so if the training session is held say in upper derby you're not going to get people from western chester county but now everyone can congregate online so i, I think we might get more participation this year but i don't know yeah better attendance for sure yeah mm -hmm. yep. so that's all i wanted to highlight um from my report um and if anyone has any questions we do have two other things not hearing any uh, uh Cheryl, we do have two other things I just yeah. wanted to bring to the board's attention. Uh, one, Karen has been working trying to figure out this MS4 program since we don't have the permit in hand yet. And we were informed just minutes ago <laughs> that they wanted to have, they put everybody on a schedule of that has to do a report in September. And we needed to do one last September, evidently. So, <laughs> which we just learned about. So we will try to put together the MS4 report uh, uh, for the county on September uh, t as soon as we can get to, to it before the end of the month, hopefully, as best we can, and then work on that schedule until our permit is issued, which would be September of each year then. Um, this is some of the new requirement that they just trying to get everybody on the same calendar. Uh, the other right. thing is that's a good idea. We were trying to do something for Earth Day and a grant opportunity come up through uh, DEP's funding through PACD. I did say it right this time, Linda, <laughs> that uh, for $2,000 educational grant and uh, that they uh, were going to try to apply for um, some funding to do some rain garden planning at uh, Smedley Park. We have a, uh, a stormwater water quality feature that was built as part of some softball fields and there's some problems with it that we've been trying to work with uh, the parks department on to try to get corrected so we're going to try to get that corrected at the same time of doing some uh, uh, some planting for our earth day at that facility so that's that's the plan hopefully the grant will be something for two thousand dollars but just some money to be able to buy the plants and some uh, corrections to the uh, outlet structure Excellent. and i was on mute but i did really laugh <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys got a laugh out of that. That was good. So these are good things. They're they're. Although I don't know what's going on. So now you have to work hard to pretend that this happened in whatever was happening in September, and then start a new one for this year. Uh, with these, this report. When I got her email, it said that they have done these things and they just. Counties are different than municipalities, and they've been working with municipalities and put people on that schedule. Uh, the, the, just talking with the counties on these permits has fallen behind. So she she didn't she just said as soon as we can. So she wasn't pressuring. Okay, us so you're not being chastised. An yeah, it was just something new that they have developed, and uh, we just got left out of the loop somehow. So hopefully we'll, okay. we'll take care of that and get this taken care of as soon as we can. Tidy this all up. Good. Excellent. All right. And uh, 
Okay, the erosion and sediments, it, there's a line that says cannot be produced at this time due to network issues. I know the feeling. That Well, no, we did, <laughs> we did do it. You have it in your packet. I apologize. That uh -huh. is an edit from the last meeting that I didn't take out, but we did. Uh, okay. We had our network was down last meeting. This meeting, we're up and running and uh, everything. Um, uh, there is a copy of that report in your packets. Okay, good. Alrighty, no individual requests for assistance. And it looks like our next meeting is February 2nd, Groundhog Day. And um, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. That's everybody. Thank you. Second. Second. <clears throat> Second. Okay, I can't. Okay, I can't believe that no anybody doesn't want us to adjourn. So <laughs> I'm presuming it's okay. <laughs> and uh, thanks for your patience, folks. I'm going to conquer this stupid teams one way or another. And next time we'll be I'll be able to actually see you. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Bye bye everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you for your Thank patience. You. Bye. Bye everybody. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Bye bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.